get closer a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason I'm to take that from him. What? There's no reason no. to take that from him. I couldn't hear him either. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't hear Stop him. Stop it, no. Gump. Have closer. you been talking? You to never him? do this, Gump. Lean Don't in, you jump on that. Lean into the mic a little bit. He doesn't do you though for some reason. Yeah, what's that all about? You and D-Bone really is a uh, target. Yeah. Oh, no, boy. I love Coach. Oh, okay, hey D-Bone. No, D- I've been <laughs> good. Too. Me and D-Bone been good on good terms this week. Can you see D-Bone right now back there? <laughs> Yeah, and also <laughs> hovering, over the, yeah. Hovering. Yeah, hovering over the donut. Oh, yeah, my he's God. scarfing Still, him oh, down he's over there. You've seen him. It's a yeah. big man. He's now, got to eat a few. I don't want to cut off what you were saying because where <laughs> you're heading uh, was certainly worthy of being discussed, and we will get back to it. But if we're going to talk about food, guess what day it is? What day is it? Thursday. Oh, oh my oh. God. Yeah. I didn't think about AJ, that. you're in Ohio. Do you know Holy what that shit. means on this particular Thursday? I think it may it may mean that old Pizza Hut is coming around, huh? Brother! No one! <laughs> and we mean no one! <laughs> Out Pizza's the Hut, brother. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go. Currently a 15. Awesome. It's bananas year right now for college football. Yes, it is. Let's go to the uh, next one, which is DeBoer's dominance. Those 12 million eyes, that's what they were watching. De- Kalen DeBoer and his dominance. He's now 30 and three as a power five coach. Wow. 30 and three well, as a play. power five wow. coach, which is huge. He's now six and oh against Kirby, Sark, and Dan Lanning, who are three of the best coaches in college football right now. What does that say about Kalen DeBoer? He's pretty good. One and what does best. that say about this Alabama team, who obviously has a phenomenal tradition, a phenomenally successful program, finding this guy to be the head coach out of Washington. Good hire, great hire. Milrose playing great ball, and they had to answer. It wasn't mm-hmm. like they they were obviously given a head start early sure. in that game. Quickly. Head start, 14, 20, we're going, you know, and George is falling back. Then they get tested. They almost give that up at home when all eyes are on them, when it's being heralded as, like, the mega bowl yep. of the SEC, all eyes. And then they had to answer, and they did. Mm-hmm. It's like, I think they both learned a lot about each other, but Alabama certainly in this DeBoer era had to feel good coming out of that calloused almost for some big SEC battles. I mean, just going from Saban to him and just being like, oh, okay, this this is this is like going from Favre to Rogers. Rogers to love. We don't even have to worry about this anymore. We're, like, there was mm. just no drop-off so far. How cool has DeBoer been on our program too, AJ? He's always been cool to us. <laughs> From day one, he's been the man. Yeah, he doesn't change. I think that's I mean, that's probably when he was in the interview process. So he, he feels very authentic. Like, he's not trying to put on an act or be somebody else. I feel very comfortable asking him questions, I think, that I wouldn't ask other people. Yeah, I just feel yeah. like DeBoer's like a part, like... Seems like a good dude. Then he seem like, seems like a good dude. Like, just really good dude. Yeah, DeBoer's one of the boys here. Good vibe. Like. Yeah, like, it, yeah. and he's a phenomenal... I guess, what is that? Just the ability to have everybody rowing in the right direction? You think that's what that is? Obviously, to your point, you said the job that they did finding him... You know, and selecting him to be the guy to follow Saban. Like, just listening to that and listening to your conversation and listening to him up on the, you know, during game day, answer all those questions. You're like, okay, yeah, I, you can see exactly why. What is they it, though? What do you think it is? It's culture? Is it the ability to. I, I think he's got a. He's, he's humble, he, he's got humility to him. Um, I think he's a, a brilliant football coach, but somebody that's self aware and, and aware of the circumstances. Like I'm not going to come in here and be Nick. I'm going to. I'm. He recognized the greatness, and he understands the expect, expectations and the standard, what it is, and not going to do it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to try to be this guy. I can't be this guy. I'm going to be myself. And his his track record speaks for itself. He's won every. What you What you say his record was? What? So he currently uh, had 13 and 17 or something. Uh, 107 and 12 in 119 games. I think is what it is. But now it's 120 games. He's won 108 of them. Yeah, 108. Yeah. He's only lost three games. Uh, the most amount of games he's ever lost in a season is three, and I think it only happened once. It was like his first year somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Washington, right? Yeah, uh, was it? I thought so, but I could be. Honest. Maybe whatever the case, the guy just wins all the time. He he's just, Washington. He's two done. Years. He's done everything right. The way he's running the program, just having the kids, uh, you know. Kids going through circumstances, on Friday. bringing that in on what do they call it? something Fridays? Uh, Friend, friends Friday Friday something, or something? Yeah, something like that. Look, friends, for, I mean, that stuff is just – what that does for a program, what that does for the kids as players. You remember when oh, we yeah. have kids to come out that are dealing with stuff and, and just like, okay, it, it, it just gives you gratitude and appreciation. Like, okay, look, my circumstances, like compared to what – you know, we always said compared to what. Yeah. Like I'm going through some stuff, but – and then you see something like this, these like, – like, God, shame on me for feeling sorry for myself. Who's uh, WVU's lucky they don't have to play? Who's that? 
the 5 and 0 Indiana Hoosiers the first time they are 5 and 0 since 1967. Light Kurt up. Signetti is absolutely dominating out there. Kurt, quarterback Curtis Work comes over from Ohio and is leading a very potent offense who they are scoring over 40 points per game. Jeez. Lo- people love the IU Hoosiers. The Hoosiers in their last game got into a little bit of a dog fight too yeah. and then they pulled away and won by two scores. It's yep. like Hoosier fans have never seen this from the football team. Oh, crazy. I, 1967, obviously, there's some Hoosier fans that have seen this, but a majority <laughs> of Hoosier fans that have any recollection of Hoosier football have not seen this, had not had this type of hope, have not sold out that stadium the way that no. they've moved it. Sig Signetti has come in here and lit up that entire program. Now, if the Indiana basketball team has a good season, <laughs> that'd be great for all of IU and of Hoosier fans and the stripes and everything like that. But if Hoosier basketball continues to do what Hoosier basketball has been doing and Sig Signetti continues to roll this football oh, yeah. team, look out. Indiana's a football state as well, and I think they're proving it down mm-hmm. there. Signetti said, uh, Google me, I win. I win. Comes to Indiana, we go, are you going to be able to do it in Indiana? Your second fiddle. Starts a collective, starts getting money. Turns this place around, uses the transfer portal for good, yeah. very good, yeah. and now he's got him five and zero, and the place is buzzing. Got Northwestern in Northwestern this weekend. We should see how that goes on the lake. On the lake, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Hard to lake. Is it a lake? Is it a lake game? I don't know. I think some of, them, uh, some of them are lake games. Some of them they're playing at Wrigley. But I, uh, whatever the case, Signetti and Wrigley winner. Signetti on the lake better. Oh. I mean, whatever the case is, this IU team's rolling. And this week, you like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus two and a half. Traveling to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. Are you going to throw a football, shoot a basketball, make a putt? What are you thinking? Got to throw. Okay. Throw the football. Here we go. And in that hoop over there or this one over here? Um, this is the one I've usually hit, but last week wasn't so good, right? I don't know. You hey, tell those, us. You tell I mean, us. It's been pretty consistent. It's a new week. What do you think, Colin, man? Do you live in your fears? Which one would you go at? Which one did you warm up on? Come on. He yeah. didn't really do much warming up from the stage today. I mean, if I were here, I'd try to get it in the in the trash bucket, but that's just me. You know, I'm it's not a trash it. bucket. It's not a Excuse trash bucket. Excuse me, in, in the uh, rock, rock bucket. Bin. bin. It's a bin. <laughs> the, the rock bin. It's a rock bin, yeah. but it's got a hand in the face right there. It's got a, somebody face. I mean, I'm looking for a challenge, oh. but uh, look, if, if we're just... got a bar to manipulate. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. That'd but... be a tough. That'd be a. That'd be something. That would be something. <laughs> if a guy could drop a ball. What do you think? Oh, yeah. hey, is that the, right is that on, the huh? something? Right Especially the, for for the U being back, the Rock yeah. Ben, you former coach of University of Miami, go Hurricanes. Be pretty cool. Right. Into the Rock How ben. could one throw a teardrop over the? You could do it. Frame. I mean, you could also net, net deal. You I think. Sneak the, I don't in. think about it. Yeah, exactly. I, I think the good quarterbacks don't think about any of that. They just make the ball go there. How about if I just gave one shot there, and if it's good, it's good. If not, I go back to the hoop. Okay, I like. What? You only get one shot though to okay. the rock band. I will say. All right, if this goes yeah. in, suits you, everybody, and also for the people that are watching, we'll give uh, thirty people five hundred dollars. If this goes into the rock band, Chuck Pagano, nowhere near it. Right said, in the middle. That, you can still get sushi, though, because it wasn't that one. Chuck, if you make that football into that basketball hoop right over there, 30 people win $500. And also, the food that is delivered at college game day, Cal Berkeley, is going to be absolutely delicious. <laughs> He's too strong. He's too strong. He threw it long. He threw it long. A okay, little, okay. okay. little less. So Same jacked ball. up. You're so jacked up thinking about that tofu. Chuck Pagano. If he makes this shot, he didn't Ooh. hit the back. Coach, hey, hey. Take a step back. Take a, breath, Take a breath, Coach. Jeez <laughs> Louise, Heart relax. Rate. Heart rate down. Maybe get under center. Damn, time like out. Take a drop. Like, like, take a drop, maybe. Coach, yeah. get out of the shotgun. Get under center. Yeah, get a cadence, maybe. Yeah, maybe a cadence. Clear, maybe a do cadence. a drop back. Maybe a hey. hurt. There you go. Full hey. cadence. There you go. Hey, shut up. Go, go. This goes in. 30 people, $500. Great watch on his left hand. Football in his right hand. Ooh. Hey. Oh, yeah. 30, we do. 30 winners of $500 because of a throw from a man who is 4 0 on Thursday Night Football against the spread picks tonight. Will he be 5 0? <laughs> he has the Bucks plus two and a half as they travel to Atlanta. The game will kick off on Prime NFC South rivalry. Week five of the NFL season leading right in to a phenomenal. Weekend of football. We can't thank you enough for allowing us to do this for a living. All you got to do is repost this post, say something nice to somebody, and put the easiest way to pay you. And you could potentially be one of the 30 winners because Chuck Pagano had a phenomenal day. Hey, baby, Chuck. 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 There you go, Chuck. Talk. All of us will continue to say uh, stupid things in the microphones tomorrow. Feel good Friday. 
will react to tonight's NFC South battle. Be a yeah. friend, tell a friend something nice that might change their life. We're in this thing together. Chuck, anything you say to the team before we get out of here? Love this team. <laughs> Run through a wall. Team on me, team on three. We appreciate you, Coach. Appreciate you guys. One, two, three, team. team. Goodbye! Team.